All right, now before we grade, just to recap a few items. We already created our classes. We've already printed our bubble sheets. We have already created our answer key and installed the All-in Learning plugin. So we are now ready to grade. Now to grade using the camera, we simply use Activate and Scan Bubble Sheet. It's going to ask us which class we want to grade. In this case, I'm going to use my second period class. And it's going to bring up a view window of my uh, camera. If you have multiple cameras, you may have to select it from the drop down here to get the one that you're using for grading. And when the camera is able to see the bubble sheet, it will automatically uh, grade it and it will read the QR code and assign it to the correct student. So as I pull these off, as soon as it can see it, it will grade the assessment. Let's run through these real quick. Now one of the, you notice I was pulling those off. We can also simply just drop them in. And as soon as it's able to see that, it will grade it. And the sheet that I'm about to put in actually has a student error on here. It has a double bubble with one of them crossed out. And when we get this, we're going to get an error and that it will show up in red. And you'll notice there is the number one over on the right side. That just means one of the questions cannot be graded. So if I had two questions that couldn't be graded, that number would be a two. If we look at number four, we notice that this is double bubbled and that the B selection has been crossed out. This does not have to stop me from grading. I can continue to grade. I find it easier to go ahead and fix these errors as they come across because I have the sheet in front of me. So I will just click the hand icon and it'll give us a little message here. And we can just close that. And it'll highlight the question number that the student or that the uh, camera cannot read. So in this case, that student wanted C. I just simply click C and it is now uh, corrected. Now, if there was no answer in that selection, I could simply mark it as incorrect. And I'm going to close this and now I can go back and start grading. With uh, this particular example that I'm doing here, my student Donald Duck is absent, so I'm going to end the session here so that I can generate a report and see how my class did that day. If you are ever in the middle of grading and you need to step away, you can simply pause the session and come back and finish grading then. But for now, we're going to end the session and generate our report.